Hey everyone, Bradley tuning in. Very excited to bring you this video. How long will the condos downtown Toronto continue to just grow at an exponential rate? I did the math for you guys. I'm excited to bring that for you. If you look in all of Toronto in the last little bit, we've seen over the last year 2.6% growth across all segments, but yet for some reason, condos are up 24% year over year. I want to talk a little bit about that and I want to give you guys an idea of how long I anticipate that's going to continue. But before I get started, I want to welcome Anne to the family. Uh, Phil and Anne, my cousins, have gotten married uh, this past weekend on Thanksgiving weekend and they gave this out as a, as a gift. I like to call it my fam jam. I haven't tried it yet, but I've heard it's very good. I'm really excited to try that out. So let's jump right into it. Um, I don't know how long it's going to go. Is it going to go for six months? Is it going to go for 18 months? I'm very intrigued because, of course, as an investor, I mean, I'm a real estate agent, but also as an investor, I'm curious to know, is it the right time to jump into a condo downtown Toronto? And I'm not going to draw that conclusion for you. I'll leave it up to you, but I want to at least give you the numbers so you know what we're expecting in the industry. Many people haven't really calculated these things. I wanted to bring this to you. This is information that I've personally gone about finding, uh, but I encourage you to go and check these sources and make sure it all works out in your book. But uh, very exciting stuff. Make sure you guys, if you're tuning in for the first time or if you're getting value to these videos, whether it's live or on the rebroadcast, make sure you leave a wow face at the bottom. Uh, you can just click a button, it pops up, it goes wow. Uh, excited to see that from all of you, uh, getting that engagement up, getting these videos posted uh, throughout the greater Toronto area. Happy Thanksgiving. Um, I know there's a lot I've got to be thankful for. Thank you to all of you for these ongoing support and through subscriptions on YouTube, through supporting our GTA real estate page. We're going to keep coming at you with great information. Um, now, you guys will recall a couple weeks ago, I did a video on why the condo market is growing. If you, don't, if you haven't seen that yet, go check it out. Uh, you can find it. It's called Peak Millennials. Uh, but if you've already seen that, but you want to know how long, and even if you haven't seen it, it's great information to know how long we're going to see this happen. As I wanted to include this video as part of a market update for what happened in September of 2017, this past month. And uh, because of that, I, I, we're, I mean, we've seen some crazy ups and downs this year, but the end result ultimately is sales have been down 35%. Uh, is that good or bad? I mean, we're comparing against a 2016 that was just on fire. So I wouldn't say it's good or bad. I just say it's a reality and we're taking things month to month. Listings are up 9.4% year over year but price is up 2.6%. Now, to have prices be above where they were this time last year is quite an accomplishment. Uh, we'll be seeing how that plays out, and I'm gonna run more videos on kind of diving deeper into what that bottom price looks like over the next few months. But let's talk a little bit about condos. How long are condos gonna continue to go the way they are? It's just absolutely crazy. 24% year over year is unsustainable. So what I did is I ran the numbers. I took a couple assumptions, and I'll share those with you. First off, condo fees. Now, I'm going to take condo fees out of the picture. Of course, condo fees are not created equal. It's building to building. But the assumption is that you're paying for something you're getting value for. And so I took that out as part of the calculation. The second thing that I did is I said that buyers, assuming they can get a better price elsewhere, will be willing to leave the condo apartment market in order to get something like a townhome or another low-rise equivalent. So those are the two assumptions. Now, I just wanted to look strictly at price. At the speed the price is going, how long do we got? So for these apartment buildings, we've seen a 24% growth. And for these low-rise condos, these townhomes, uh, we've seen a 16% growth. So if you do the math today, the price difference floats around 54000 on average. Now, this is straight downtown Toronto. If you guys want information on your specific areas of the GTA, we have to run those numbers separately, and I can do that for you. But I just wanted to jump right into downtown Toronto. So the apartments are at 554,000. The townhomes are at 608,000. So again, a 54,000 difference. At the growth we're seeing, by this time next year, that gap will shrink down to $20,000 at this rate. So I took it a little further. If we go another year, 2019, that gap actually switches and the apartments will be worth 32,000 more than the townhomes. So what does that say? That says that at a certain point in the next year to a year and a half, there's going to be this cross where these apartment buildings are going to be worth more than the townhomes just at the rates that they're growing today. So the lesson that I got out of this for me as an investor, but also to share with you, is this price acceleration we're experiencing in downtown Toronto condos is limited. 
It's limited in time. And I expect that time to be somewhere between a year to a year and a half. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think that's enough time for someone who's not yet invested in the real estate market in downtown Toronto to buy a condo or have they totally missed the boat? Um, and I think to, to kind of cover all of this and where I think the opportunity lies is this. If we just look in 2004 to 2012, the low rise segment and the high rise segment have grown pretty much identically. This was published from the Globe and Mail. But if you look from 2012 to 2016, we saw an average price growth in the low rise segment of 18% average per year. But yet the low rise were literally flat from 2012 to 2016, totally and utterly flat. Now, what we've seen in the last couple of years since 2016 onwards is we're now trying to see these condos trying to catch up where they in the past have been growing at the same rates are now left behind, but here they are catching up. We've got a year to a year and a half left of that that we're going to see. Uh, it'll be very interesting to see what that normalization looks like in a year and a half. And we'll stay tuned for that. Hope you guys got value out of these videos. If you did, please subscribe to the YouTube. And if you're on following us live on GTA Real Estate, please add us. Uh, and we're going to do these posts every week, Wednesday, 12 live. Take care, guys, and just enjoy the rest of your week and keep it real.